Hello friends, I am Tulsaram Nakal. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn about the generation of computer. If you have not subscribed my channel, please do not forget to subscribe the channel as well as share among the friends. A generation of computer. What do you mean by generation of computer? The development of computer had passed many stages from 1943 AD to till now. The period during which the development of computer took place can be divided into five periods. The development of computers in each period is known as generation of computer. In each generation of computer, new electronic circuit has been developed. The new technology replaced the old technology. First generation of computers. There are five generations, first, second, third, fourth and fifth generation of computer. Fourth generation of computer. All the computers that used vacuum tubes or bulb as their main electronic circuit are the first generation of computers. These computers were developed during the period 1946 AD to 1958, in some books written 1940 to 1956, and in some books it is written that 1946 to 1959. The first generation computers were huge, slow and expensive computers. ENIAC, EDVAC, EDSAC, UNIVAC, EDC are the first generation computer. What are the features of first generation of computers? The main features of first generation of computers were they used vacuum tube or valve as their main electronic component. Magnetic drums were used for primary storage. Magnetic tapes were used for secondary memory, as well as punch cards and paper tapes were used for input and output of data and instruction. They were very slow and the speed was measured in milliseconds. They consume huge amount of electric power, as well as they were programmed in machine language and can go to only some specific tasks. Second generation of computer. The next generation is second generation. All the computers developed during 1959 to 1964 AD were second generation computers. All the second generation computers were based on transistors. And a transistor, it is a small device made up of semiconductor material like silicon and germanium. One transistor can do the work of 1000 vacuum tapes, so the second generation computer were more powerful, efficient, reliable and smaller than the first generation of computer. UNIB ACC second, IBM 1401, NCR 300, IBM 650 are second generation of computer. Features of second generation of computer. They use transistor as their main electronic component. Transistor replaced the vacuum tubes in second generation. They were faster and could perform tasks in microseconds, which is also known as 10 to the power minus 6 of a second. Magnetic core memories were used for internal storage. Punch cards and paper tapes were used for external storage. They had used magnetic tape and takes for the external storage too. Due to transistor, they were smaller, more reliable, powerful than the first generation of computer. Programming could be done in machine language, assembly language and at the last of second generation, high level language were used. The next generation is third generation. All the computers developed during 1965 AD 2 1974 AD are were third generation computers. All the third generation computers were based on integrated circuit IC. IC replaced transistor in third generation. The IC is a miniaturized electronic circuit that contains a number of transistor onto a single wafer or silicon. Due to IC, the third generation computers was more powerful, reliable, efficient and smaller than the second generation of computer. 
कीबोर्ड एंड माउस वेर यूज इन द थर्ड जेनरेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर कंप्यूटर यूज इनपुट एंड आउटपुट डिवाइसेस एंड द फीचर ऑफ थर्ड जेनरेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स वेर दे यूज आई सी एज द मेन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉम्पोनेंट्स दे वर फास्टर एंड कूड परफॉर्म टास्क इन नैनो सेकेंड दे यूज सेमी कंडक्टर मेमोरी फॉर इंटरनल स्टोरेज दे यूज मैनेटी टेप फॉर एक्सटर्नल स्टोरेज दे यूज कीबोर्ड एंड मॉनिटर फॉर इनपुट एंड आउटपुट डिवाइसेस दे यूज ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम सो डिफरेंट प्रोग्राम्स कूड रन द कंप्यूटर प्रोग्राम्स वर रिटर्न इन हाई लेवल लैंग्वेज दे वर स्मॉल रिलायबल एंड मोर पावरफुल देन सेकेंड जेनरेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर The next generation is fourth generation. We are using fourth generation of computers now also. All the computers developed after 1975 AD are the fourth generation of computers. These all fourth generation computers are based on microprocessor chip. The first microprocessor Intel 4004 was developed in 1971 AD by American Intel Corporation. The fourth generation computers are more reliable. powerful and smaller than the third generation of computers the main feature of fourth generation of computers are they are based on microprocessor semiconductor memory is used as internal storage magnetic disks optical disks are used as external storage processing speed is measured in picosecond which is also known as 10 to the power minus 12 of a second they are more versatile and diligence programs are written in mid level language as well as high level language fifth generation of computer the fifth generation of computers are still in the development stage the fifth generation computers which be based on biochips or superconductor chip due to the biochip the fifth generation computers will have artificial intelligence the artificial intelligence is the ability that understand natural language and capable of thinking itself the fifth generation of computers will be able to do the programming themselves for the user as the user instruct computer to do the feature of fifth generation of computers will be they will be based on biochips they will have artificial intelligence they will have the ability to solve the problem themselves they will be able to recognize voice images etc i think from this you have learned about the generation of computers if you have any queries please mention on the comment box hoping that you will subscribe my channel and share among the friends i'll be back with more of the videos later thanks for watching the video